हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल माय नेम इज लामे नसीम को फाउंडर ऑफ मेरे वाले नोट्स सो आज के इस वीडियो लेक्चर में हम लोग कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस को डिस्कस करेंगे प्रीवियस वीडियो में मैंने आपको टॉर्जनल इक्वेशन प्रूफ करा दी थी तो आइए उसका एप्लीकेशन देखते हैं किस तरीके से गेट में ए में एस में इसरो में क्वेश्चन आते हैं तो आज मैं कुछ कन्वेंशनल क्वेश्चन आपको कराऊंगी ताकि आपकी कॉन्सेप्ट पे अच्छी पकड़ हो जाए अच्छी आपको क्लैरिटी मिल जाए तो दिस इज आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल द डायमेंशन आर गिवेन लेट मी राइट फर्स्ट This is our first shaft. This is our second shaft, and this is our third shaft. Okay, all the diameters are different. The diameter of the first shaft is thirty, forty-eight, and thirty-six. This is thirty mm. Diameter of the second shaft is forty-eight mm, and diameter of the third shaft is thirty-six mm. Okay, these diameters are given. Lengths are also given. L1, L2 and L3. L1 length is 150 mm, 180 mm and 200 mm. Okay, the length of this particular shaft is 150 mm, then 180 mm, then 200 mm. Okay, now these couples are also given. 900 newton meter, 1400 newton meter. Let me write first 900 Newton meter, 1400 Newton meter, then 3500 and 1200, 3500 Newton meter and 1200 Newton meter, and we have to find maximum shear stress developed in this particular shaft arrangement and. Angle of twist. This is A point. This is B. This is C, and this is D. Okay. So we have to find angle of twist at A with respect to D. T upon J is equal to tau upon R is equal to G theta by L. ओके प्रीवियस वीडियो में हम लोगों ने यही इक्वेशन को प्रूव करा था टी अपॉन जे इज इक्वल टू टाउ अपॉन आर इज इक्वल टू जी थीटा बाई एल एंड वी ऑल्सो प्रूव वन इक्वेशन मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस फॉर सॉलिड शाफ्ट इज सिक्सटीन टी अपॉन पाई डी क्यूब ओके आई होप आपको ये याद होगा ये मैंने प्रीवियस वीडियो में प्रूव करा था मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन टी अपॉन पाई डी क्यूब तो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला For first shaft, let us take a particular section. Suppose this section is x1 and x1, and I am going to find maximum shear stress at this particular section. So tau max at section 11 is equal to 16 into t. What is t at this particular section? Use your right hand. Okay, right hand thumb rule. Curl your finger in the direction of couple. This thumb is in. If the thumb is in, yeah. If the thumb is inside the shaft, it will be negative. Okay. So 16 into what is t? 900. Twisting moment at a section 11 is 900 newton meter, and it is negative. So let's put in this particular formula 16 into 900 upon pi into what is d? D is 30 mm, 30 to the power 3. Tau max at a section 22. Okay. If you want to find maximum shear stress at a section 22, let's find angle of twist and use either side condition. So, what is the value of Twisting moment at this particular section. Twisting moment at a section two two is equal to use your right hand, right hand thumb rule. Curl your finger in the direction of this particular couple. Your thumb is in, and both both are in same direction. So both are in negative. Add minus nine hundred and minus fourteen hundred. Okay. When we add these th uh, these two values. We will get minus two three double zero newton meter. Now we can find maximum shear stress at particular section two two sixteen into minus two three double zero upon pi into what is the diameter 
48 mm 48 mm to the power 3 now i am going to find maximum shear stress at a section 3 3 if we find maximum shear stress at a section 3 3 at a section 3 3 let's find twisting moment first at a section 3 3 use your right hand thumb rule curl your finger in the direction of couple and check the direction of thumb it's outside if it if thumb is outside it means it's positive then we get t at a section 3 3 is 1200 newton meter now put in this particular formula plus 1200 upon pi into d what is d 36 to the power 3 when we find all these three values we get first value is minus 169.76 minus 169.76 mega pascal maximum shear stress at a section 2 is minus 105.91 105.91 you can uh, you can find this value with the help of calculator because it's a gate question it's never come in ESC pre okay and maximum shear stress at a section 3 3 is 130.99 130.99 mega pascal these three value is not our answer because we have to find maximum shear stress out of these three values so uh, where is the maximum shear stress just check the magnitude 169.76 105.91 130.99 out of these three values this value is maximum so our answer is tau max is equal to minus 169.76 mega pascal we can also represent this maximum shear stress in the in pictorial form just draw a circle locate center and a particular vertical line you get minus 169.76 at the center maximum shear stress will be zero and at the circumference maximum uh, shear stress will be maximum so let this is our maximum shear stress and what is the value of this particular maximum shear stress 169.76 mega pascal so this is our answer now i am going to find angle of twist at point a with respect to d in this particular question the value of modulus of rigidity is also given that is 80 into 10 to the power 3 mega pascal now i am going to solve angle of twist at a with respect to d okay let's find angle of twist at every section section 1 1 section 2 2 and section 3 3 and just add all the angle of twist so what will be the formula angle of twist at a with respect to d is angle of twist for a b shaft plus angle of twist for b c shaft plus angle of twist for c d shaft okay what is the value of angle of twist at a b shaft it's t l upon g j we have already proved this uh, equ particular equation and prove this formula in the previous video okay you can refer previous video this is for a b okay plus same formula t l upon g j with respect to b c plus t l upon g into g with respect to c d and we have already find these t value for the shaft a b for the shaft b c and for the shaft c d twisting moment for the shaft ab is minus 900 newton meter twisting moment for the shaft bc is minus 2300 newton meter and twisting moment for the shaft cd is plus 1200 newton meter we have already find these values okay now put all these value in equation first Twisting moment at point A with respect to D is equal to what is the value of T11 for T for AB minus 900. What is the length of this particular shaft is 150 mm. So let's put 150 mm upon G is 80 into 10 to the power 3 into what is J? What is the value of J? J is equal to pi by 32 into D to the, D to the power 4 because J is the polar moment of inertia. 
ये भी मैं प्रीवियस वीडियो में ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर चुकी हूं आपसे ओके तो पाई बाई थर्टी टू इन टू डी टू दावर फोर वॉट इज डी फॉर ए बी शाफ्ट इट्स इट्स थर्टी तो थर्टी टू दावर फोर प्लस टी एल अपॉन जी जे फॉर बी सी शाफ्ट फॉर बी सी शाफ्ट ट्विस्टिंग मोमेंट इज माइनस टू थ्री डबल जीरो इन टू वॉट इज लेंथ वन एट्टी अपॉन जी इज सेम फॉर ऑल द शाफ्ट एट्टी इंटू टेन टू दावर थ्री एंड पाई बाई थर्टी टू इंटू वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डायमीटर फॉर शाफ्ट बी सी इज फोर्टी एट तो नाउ पुट फोर्टी एट टू दावर फोर ओके नाउ एड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड ट्विस्टिंग मोमेंट फॉर द शाफ्ट सी डी इंटू वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द शाफ्ट सी डी इज टू हंड्रेड एम एम नाउ पुट दिस टू हंड्रेड वैल्यू अपॉन जी इज सेम एटी इंटू टेन टू दावर थ्री इंटू पाई बाई थर्टी टू इंटू वॉट इज डी डी इज थर्टी सिक्स टू दावर फोर वेन वी सॉल्व ऑल दीज वैल्यूज वी गेट थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू नाइन रेडियन ओके दिस इज आर आंसर तो आई होप आपको ये क्वेश्चन समझ आया होगा जहां पर मैंने आपको मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस निकाल के दिखाया एंड एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट निकाल के दिखाया कि किस तरीके से एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट को फाइंड करते हैं तो आप में से काफी सारे लोगों की ये डिमांड थी कि वीडियो हिंदी में होनी चाहिए बहुत सारे लोग चाहते थे कि वीडियो इंग्लिश में होनी चाहिए तो बड़ी कन्फ्यूजन थी तो मैं कोशिश कर रही हूँ कि हिंदी भी यूज करूँ और इंग्लिश भी यूज करूँ ताकि मेरे दोनों व्यूवर्स को ही प्रॉब्लम ना हो दोनों को ही क्वेश्चन समझ आए क्योंकि बीच में हिंदी भी मैं यूज करूंगी ताकि हिंदी वाले जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनको प्रॉब्लम ना और बीच में मैं इंग्लिश भी यूज करूंगी जिस समय मैं क्वेश्चन समझा रही हूंगी या कोई कॉन्सेप्ट समझा रही होंगी ताकि आपको इंग्लिश वाले जो मेरे व्यूवर्स हैं उनको भी कोई भी प्रॉब्लम ना हो तो चलिए दूसरा क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करने चलते हैं हम लोग ये वाला कंप्लीट हो गया लेट सॉल्व एन अदर क्वेश्चन दिस सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज इफ द शाफ्ट इज ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म डायामीटर ओके इफ द शाफ्ट इज ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म डायामीटर ऑफ लेंथ एल एंड डायामीटर D and twisting moment T. For this particular shaft, the angle of twist is what is the value of angle of twist? T L upon G into J. Okay, we have already find this particular value for this particular shaft. Now the question is, if the shaft is of varying diameter, just like this. If the shaft is of variable diameter. of same length l same material modulus of rigidity for this particular shaft is g and this for this shaft is also g the diameter at x is equal to 0 is d1 and at x is equal to l is d2 so you can see that diameter is varying with respect to length if diameter is varying with respect to length we can't put this particular formula to find angle of twist so what we will do theta is equal to integration we will do integration for 0 to x is equal to l t dx upon g into j okay what is the value of j j is equal to pi by 32 into d to the power 4 okay now put this value in this particular equation t dx upon g into pi by 32 into d to the power 4 Let's simplify this equation. Take out all the constant values. Thirty-two is constant. T is constant. Pi is constant. G is constant. Only d diameter is varying. So zero to l dx upon d to the power four. So we have to find this d value in terms of x so that we can integrate easily. I am going to take a particular section. Let at this particular section x x at a distance x from left side and diameter at this particular section is d now i am going to use a straight line equation at this point the coordinate is 0 comma d1 at this point the coordinate is x comma d and at this point the coordinate is d, uh, l comma d2 what is the formula for a straight line y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 now what is the value of y is d y1 is d1 y2 is d2 y1 is d1 x2 is l x1 is 0 because at this point x is 0 now 
x minus x1 x1 is 0 so we get the value of d in term of x is d2 minus d1 upon l into x plus d1 so let this particular value is alpha okay suppose this value is is alpha so now what is the value of d alpha x plus d1 now put this value in this particular equation we get theta is equal to 32 t into pi into g integration 0 to l 1 upon alpha x plus d1 to the power 4 into dx now i am going to solve this integration 32 upon 32 t upon pi into g if we integrate this particular value we get minus 1 upon alpha x plus d1 to the power 3 into 3 into alpha you can do integration according to you also theta is equal to 32 t upon let us take out this 3 and alpha outside this bracket we get 3 alpha pi into g now put upper limit if you put upper limit we get alpha into l plus d1 to the power 3 and this minus and this lower limit minus will become plus 1 upon d1 to the power 3 because if we put 0 here this uh, the whole term will become 0 only d1 will be left okay now theta is equal to 32 upon 3 pi g into d2 minus d1 upon alpha okay what is the value of alpha d2 minus d1 upon alpha 1 upon minus d2 minus d1 upon l into l plus d1 to the power 3 plus 1 upon d1 to the power 3 simplify this equation you get the answer 3 pi g d2 minus d1 this l and this l will be cancelled out this d1 is positive and this d1 is negative we get 1 upon d1 cube minus 1 upon d2 cube now i am going to simplify more theta is equal to 32 tl upon 3 pi g d1 d2 minus d1 let us take lcm d1 cube into d2 cube you get d2 cube minus d1 cube now solve what is the what is the formula of a cube minus b cube the formula is a minus b bracket a square plus b square minus plus a b so now i am going to put the formula of a cube minus b cube it's a minus b a square plus b square plus a b okay plus a b upon d1 cube into d2 cube this d2 minus d1 will be cancelled out with this d2 minus d1 so we get the final expression 32 tl upon 3 pi g d1 cube d2 cube into d1 square plus d2 square plus d1 d2 so this is our answer so you have seen how we have solved the questions ko solve kara. I have tried to explain the questions in English and Hindi. So, the question was that if there is a uniform diameter, what will be the angle of twist? So, we have already found the uniform diameter. Varying diameter, like we have done in the axial loading, we have proved the formula of deformation. 4PL upon pi e d1 d2. There was diameter varying. Here, I have taken the diameter varying. And here, we have found the angle of twist in the deformation. So, I hope you will understand these two questions. अगर अच्छा लगा तो लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब करना बिल्कुल ही मत भूलिएगा और कमेंट सेक्शन में आप बताइएगा कि हिंदी इंग्लिश मिक्स करके ही वीडियो बनाएं या हिंदी वाली वीडियोस अलग कर दें एंड इंग्लिश वाली वीडियोस अलग कर दें थैंक यू सो मच